Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 tips and tricks that will help you improve the battery life of your iOS 12 device. Location services is something that really eats up the battery of your device. If you don't use it, you don't need it at the moment, simply go to settings, go to privacy and turn it off. Or if you need to turn it on to have it on, just simply go ahead and turn on only when the, you're using the app. So you go to, to the app, you go right here and just set while using the app. Don't let it run all the time in the background because that will drain your battery. Something that will really help you improve the battery life of your iPhone are notifications. I know a lot of people just don't care. They will turn on notifications for every app but they will actually drain the battery a lot. So just go to settings, go to notifications, and for the apps where you don't really need notifications, just make sure you turn them off. So you don't actually need like notifications for every app or every game that you have on your iPhone. Go ahead, manage them the right way and only leave on the notifications that you actually need. A simple trick to improve battery life on iOS 12 is completely turning off the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth when you don't need them. You know since iOS 11 from the control center you can only disconnect them. You tap the toggles, they won't turn off, they will just disconnect. Simply go to settings, go to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and you can completely turn them off using the toggles. Turning off Siri suggestions for a lot of your apps will actually help a lot. Go to settings, go to Siri and search and here we'll find a list of your apps. So you don't need your device to start scanning and to keep scanning all these apps with Siri and search and all that. Just go ahead and turn it off for any apps that you don't actually need it. Another trick to save battery life on your iPhone is turning off fitness tracking. So you go to settings, go to privacy and you will have here motion and fitness. You have here fitness tracking. So if you don't really use that, you don't take a look at your like how many steps you have done and how miles you have walked and all that, you, then you don't need this on. Just go ahead and turn it off from here. Background app refresh is also something that will have a huge impact on the battery life. Make sure you turn it off for the apps that you don't need it to. Go to settings and go to general and then you will find here background app refresh. So you will have an option here to completely turn it off or you can just go ahead and select for which app you want to leave it on and for which app you want to turn it off. Wi-Fi assist will also have an impact on the battery life of your iOS 12 device. So make sure you turn it off. Go to settings and go to cellular. Scroll all the way down here and once you have your cellular network turned on you will have the options here to enable or disable Wi-Fi assist. So what this does is that it will automatically switch between the Wi-Fi and cellular data based on the connectivity that you have with your Wi-Fi network. So if you have a weak connectivity, it will automatically switch to cellular data and that of course will drain battery. So you go ahead and turn it off from here. Rise to Wake is another cool feature of iOS 12 on newer devices, but it also consumes battery. You don't need to have it on. You go ahead, go to settings, go to display and brightness and you will find Rise to Wake right here. Just make sure you turn it off. If you go to settings and you go to iTunes and App Store section, you will find here automatic downloads. So what these do is that they will automatically download like music apps, books, audiobooks and also app updates. So they might happen to download just when you're running low on battery and that will make it even worse. Just make sure you go ahead and turn off updates right here under iTunes and App Store. Another thing that has been a myth for a long time is closing apps on the background. Actually, as said by Apple, closing apps on the background won't help you. It's better to leave them on on the background. So you can go to the app switcher, you see the apps right here. These are suspended and they're ready to go once you want to relaunch them. If you close them, they will have to completely relaunch. But if you don't close them, you will have them ready right there. So closing and relaunching apps, of course, will consume more battery than leaving them on in the app switcher. 
So that is it for this video guys, these are 10 tips and tricks that will help you improve the battery life of your iOS 12 device. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you guys on the next one.